Hi YouTube, Shiny Tentacruel back for another episode of Cube Survival. Today we will be exploring the last cube, but first I think we need to make a few more torches. I only have ten and that's not going to be enough. And I'm pretty sure 50 is more like it, although I don't... yeah I guess that's fine. Um, let's see, we've only got one more cube left, and if we don't find diamond pants, then we'll need that many diamonds left over, so that means that we've got some diamonds we can use on this cube, we've got some iron we can use on this cube, um, hmm. Let's see, I don't have any sticks now. I'll have to make a couple of those, but I'm going to go ahead and make myself a diamond sword. I know this might be a bad idea, but I mean, we're not going to use these diamonds for anything else. Um, let's see, I've got pretty good armor. Don't need to take all this iron with me. I mean, those sticks don't belong there. Go in there. I suppose we can put that in there. Should I take a bow? Oh, I was wondering if I could fix an enchanted bow the same way that you fix a normal bow. No. Hmm, okay. Well, oops, I need that back. Then I guess I'll just take a normal bow. Although I don't think I have any. I don't know if I have any arrows. Do I have any arrow? Oh, yep, I do. Okay, I'm gonna take some a bow and an arrow, and we need some good food here. I'm go I'm actually gonna take. I'm gonna take some of these golden apples. And I think we're all set. So I'll meet you guys over there at the cabin cube. Alrighty, here we go. I am approaching the cabin cube. And we are going to try to throw a whole mess of torches in there. And hopefully we can get this under control. So I'll start by placing down some torches. I think there's a cave somewhere. Yeah, in fact, it'd be good if I could seal off the cave. I feel like that's a good plan. Then we can throw torches off. Um, we can throw torches around on the ground floor outside without things coming out of the cave and killing us. Interesting colored sheep. We won't be able to get torches on top of the house. Let's see. Looks like I'll be able to. Oh, it doesn't look like there's much inside of the house. So that's good, I guess. Throw some torches on this side of the house. Is there anything underneath the house? No. So it just seems like um, all the bad guys in this cube are down in the cave. And, uh... Hmm don't really want to go in the cave right now. I'm going to explore. Ah, there's a pressure plate. Are there other pressure plates? I don't really see. Alright, so we found the chest. There's three diamonds, two golden apples, some chicken. 
Uh, there's coal. There's an enchanted book of protection three, which is really good. A uh, bunch of iron and two obsidian. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff home uh, really quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've just deposited those things into my chest as well as the bow and arrows. Um, since it seems like all of the bad guys are down inside of the cave, it doesn't uh, doesn't seem like the bow and arrows will be really that useful since I'll be fighting everything in close quarters. But I guess now's as good time as any. Skeleton. Here comes a creeper. Okay. Going well so far. Zombie, skeleton, and a creeper. And another skeleton. And a bunch of mini zombies. There's got to be like a zombie spawner down there or something. Oh crap, I can't get them all. Okay, so we need to eat some food. Also, it's turning nighttime, so that's good. Alright, so. No, you don't. Uh. Too many skeletons. Okay, I think we've got it just about under control. Wow, that was intense. I'm sorry, I forgot to keep talking there, but wow, I just, I have to focus on, you know, you got so many creepers and skeletons coming at you from all directions. Well, I guess not all directions, but you know what I mean. Like, that was pretty intense. That was a lot of scary things. And uh, we got it under control, and it looks like there's actually another chest here. Um, I'm going to throw some more torches and open it, and block of coal. I was really hoping that would be the last piece of obsidian that we needed for the enchanted table, but I'll take it. Um, there's some torches here, a mushroom, some bone meal, a diamond helmet that we don't really need, two golden apples, a block of iron, and three rotten flesh. So that's an interesting bunch of items there. Um, I guess I'll take it. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to free stuff. Looks like there's some diamond in here. And hmm. all right, so this cave is now under control. Um, thankfully, I'm glad that we only had to spend one episode on that I would have hated to have to come in here multiple episodes after we had already gotten all of the stuff out of the chest um, so off camera I'll be excavating the materials from this cave and then um, I have a question to ask you guys since we didn't find the last piece of obsidian 
Um, I'm going to be excavating the ice cube, the snow cube, like almost entirely. I'm going to take every block out of there just to make sure that we didn't miss uh, another chest, kind of like we did in this one, where there were two chests. So if I don't find the other piece of obsidian, would you guys care if I spawned in one piece of obsidian, since I'm pretty sure it existed in the map but was blown up by a creeper? Would you guys care if I spawned in one piece of obsidian into the map, kind of cheated it in, and uh, used it to build the enchanting table? Since I've already built a ton of the bookshelves and um, have plans for experience farms to... Uh, basically all I would be using it for to enchant would be my sword. Since um, we'll have a full set of enchanted diamond armor using the books the protection three books and the diamond armor that we found or made um, so would you guys care if I brought in that one piece of obsidian so I could enchant my sword leave you leave your reply in the comments below and I'll be sure to read those and so until next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye guys